as you guys can hear on startup there is like a bit of like a ticking noise and that's what this is for this is the um what do you call it the 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 timing chain tensioner so i got a new one it's like right under here so i got to take this stuff out and then put this put, take the old one out put the o-ring on this put it back on and then that should be that or that is going to be that positivity people positivity so yeah it's not really too difficult maybe annoying just because of the space and i have big hands but you know i started thingo so yeah then i also got a couple more parts that i'll get to you get that i'll speak on in the next video or whenever i get to it when it becomes relevant just depends on when some other parts get here so uh yeah i guess we'll just uh get some clips of me doing this thing so yeah so as i was turning the wheel kind of shook the car the hood dropped and something was sitting right here and it broke the little plastic card line for the coolant um for the uh expansion tank or overflow whatever this thing is called so now i just got to get a soft line or something to connect these two things can't start the car now granted i wasn't going to start it yet or anytime soon anyway but just very annoying because it's hard to get to that thing i dropped the tool down there and then like after i dropped the tool i turned the wheel and then boom all this stuff just dropped so yeah very annoying um if i can't do it i'll probably be able to have somebody like get to it because again these things are just annoying because i have very big hands so it's just hard to reach into these spaces and that's the problem so yeah this simple fix that also simple just very annoying to get to so i guess we'll see what happens with it within the next few minutes all right so this should be a good um temporary fix for now until i just replace this thing this line is like super brittle anyway so it has to get changed it's a wear item so now i just need to figure out how exactly i'm going to get this thing angled to the side of the block so i can reach the um timing chain tensioner if i can't get it i just have to have somebody come do it which is unfortunate and annoying because i wanted to do it myself but there's just things that are in the way on this car that are not particularly in the way or as much as as much in the way as they are on other vehicles so yeah sorry the camera's all messy my hands are super dirty but you can see some oil there and the old chain tensioner here or what's left of it so now we're gonna have to start this thing and hope everything went accordingly did i bring the key out or did i leave it up still oh my god all right it's okay I just have to go up three flights of stairs and come right back down. All right, so here's the scariest part because it like takes a second for the thing to build um, tension or pressure or whatever. <sighs> my chest is, my heart is beating right now. Very, very fast. I'm gonna see if it like primes the engine or anything. <clears throat> Here goes everything. Well, it didn't sound like anything bad. to make sure it doesn't leak and the timing chain tensioner to make sure it doesn't leak so yeah like breathing 
funny because the uh, there's no filter or anything. It's just open air. Some cranberry juice. Yeah, I think I did it, people. I think I did it. It took me a very, very long time. I'm in a lot of pain, but I think I did it. Now I just have to get that socket from out of this side. Let's see if I could reach it. Yes, I did. Another victory, people. Another victory. Now the car quieted down. That's the cold start sequence. So, yeah, I think it was successful. I think so. No, 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 it was successful. So now I'm gonna put the intake and everything back together um, and then move the car and make sure that it doesn't leak. Well, I'm going to move it to the other side and because the van is not coming back so I'm gonna park it overnight in a spot and see if there's any oil droplets well I'll have to wait until afterwards because I spilt some while this thing was coming out so I'm gonna let it warm up now burn off and drip and everything like that and in a couple hours move it to the other side and tomorrow morning I'll check to make sure there's no new oil and if there is I just have to tour the thing more but I do believe I put about 50 foot pounds or whatever it's like 22 newton meters and i did about 50 foot pounds i believe that's about the same so yeah so for some reason this thing sounds real different and very aggressive to something I don't know it sounds pretty crazy and very rowdy so I have no idea what happened but yeah Jesus not sure why the brake lights on so we're gonna be checking if there's any new codes that came up and then we're also gonna drive the car around the block but yeah I mean I guess we'll see no fault codes we're gonna just do that anyway alright well, I mean, no codes so who knows? And for some reason, the oil temperature is like low. So I'm not sure. The car stops fine. Or seems to at least. Uh, let's check and see if I can tell what kind of... liquids those are on the ground. Alright, let's see if this works. 